In late 2025, NASA quietly sent Ancient Voyager 2 hurtling toward an interstellar intruder, 3E slash A T L A S. What followed was beyond comprehension. A ghost signal echoed back. Not just data, but something alive, intelligent, encoded. Command's Voyager was never meant to execute. Then, the probe vanished. Its last whisper carried a message we still can't decode. This wasn't contact, it was interception of us, and whatever answer did so using our own voice. Humanity's Ancient Messenger. When Voyager 2 launched on August 20th, 1977, it carried more than instruments. It carried human curiosity beyond the planets. For nearly 48 years, the spacecraft has drifted through the cold silence of interstellar space, now over 12 billion miles from Earth. It's powered by a fading plutonium RTG, its sensors weakened by time, yet still whispering faint radio signals to the deep space network. By mid-2025, Voyager 2 had become more than a relic. It was humanity's furthest active probe, our lone outpost beyond the heliopause. When the mysterious object 3I slash ATLAS appeared, NASA realized no telescope, not even JWST, could reach it physically. But Voyager 2, already in the deep beyond, could listen. It was the only asset near its projected path. To most, this was impossible. Voyager's thrusters hadn't fired in decades, and its memory capacity was smaller than a wristwatch. Yet NASA's engineers saw a chance. If the probe could be nudged, recalibrated, or even remotely aimed, it might catch the faint emissions of the interstellar visitor. And so, in August 2025, NASA prepared a quiet command, a final test of humanity's reach across time and darkness. The secret command, aligning for intercept. Late in August 2025, while public updates mentioned routine diagnostics, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, JPL, uploaded an encrypted instruction packet to Voyager 2. The command set was small, barely 16 kilobytes, but its purpose was extraordinary alter the spacecraft's attitude alignment to face the inbound path of 3I slash ATLAS. It was the first maneuver attempt in nearly 30 years. For 72 hours, nothing returned. Engineers in California monitored the X-band frequency 8.4 gigahertz, waiting for a faint acknowledgement. Then, on September 2nd, Voyager's carrier wave surged. Telemetry flowed in short bursts, confirming the probe had accepted new orientation data. But something about the tone modulation was wrong, an additional pulse layered within the main signal. Inside JPL, the official explanation was signal echo. Yet classified notes used another phrase, intercept trajectory alignment. The ancient probe had obeyed. Outside NASA, nobody noticed the anomaly. To the public, Voyager remained quiet fading gracefully into the void. But within the mission room, a sense of unease grew. Commands that should have been simple weren't behaving normally. Within days, Voyager's responses began changing again, and what they revealed seemed tied to 3I slash ATLAS itself. The Unexplained Signal. By September 4th, 2025, the Deep Space Network reported a strange pattern emerging from Voyager 2's transmission stream. Its carrier frequency, normally stable, carried a faint secondary pulse repeating every four hours. Engineers immediately noticed the coincidence. The same rhythm recorded in JWST's infrared data of 3I slash A TLAS's thermal emissions. At first, technicians assumed interference, perhaps a reflected harmonic from solar wind variation. But spectral analysis at JPL's Pasadena lab confirmed it wasn't random noise. The pattern was mathematically ordered, an artificial modulation embedded directly in the spacecraft's own transmission. Somehow, the probe's analog systems had been rewritten or repurposed. That alone was strange enough. But then came the adaptive shift. Voyager 2's signal began compensating for plasma fluctuations automatically, as if guided by external intelligence. The 1970s flight computer didn't have that capacity. It wasn't supposed to learn. It was reacting. By September 6th, the consensus was unavoidable. The anomaly originated from Voyager's position, 12.3 billion miles away. 
Whatever was altering its transmission was happening in deep space, beyond human reach. And soon, analysts realized the change wasn't just digital. Voyager 2 itself had begun to move. The trajectory shift. When orbital data from September 10th to 14th, 2025 arrived, something was off. Voyager 2's path no longer matched predictions calculated months earlier. At first, deviations were minimal, mere 0.02 degrees. But by week's end, the probe's course had shifted unmistakably inward. The direction aligned toward the incoming vector of 3i slash ATLAS. Engineers rechecked logs. No commands had been sent. No thrusters activated. The hydrazine reserves, nearly empty since the early 2000s, couldn't explain it. Either the spacecraft had re-energized dormant systems on its own, or an external force was guiding it. NASA called it navigational drift. Privately, analysts labeled it Autonomous Correction Event 2025-A. The team debated gravitational anomalies, unseen solar wind effects, even the possibility of magnetohydrodynamic drag. None fit the precision. The course correction wasn't chaotic, it was deliberate. Amateur astronomers confirmed the movement using Doppler shift readings from the 8.4 gigahertz beacon. The trajectory arc traced directly toward 3i slash ATLAS's perihelion track. Somehow, the two objects were converging. NASA's next move was desperate. If control was slipping, they would try to cut the signal, but Voyager refused to go dark. The failed shutdown and patterned defiance. On September 20th, 2025, JPL engineers transmitted a shutdown code, Command Sequence 74B, designed to disable Voyager 2's high-gain transmitter. The response should have been silence. Instead, 11 minutes later, the probe returned a burst of structured data unlike anything in its programming history. Inside the packet, analysts found repeating prime number sequences, spaced in uniform 17-second intervals. Overlaid within was a faint amplitude pulse mirroring 3i slash ATLAS's four-hour thermal cycle. The implication chilled the room. Voyager was transmitting patterns it hadn't generated. It was echoing something else. Subsequent shutdown attempts on September 21st and 22nd produced similar results. Never silence, only defiance. Some believed cosmic rays had corrupted its memory, but cosmic noise doesn't create prime sequences. Something, or someone, was instructing the probe to respond. NASA halted further attempts. The official statement cited delayed command recognition. In truth, engineers feared escalation. Every time they tried to silence Voyager, it spoke back clearer than before. And when the analysis deepened, what hid inside those pulses suggested a connection far beyond mere malfunction, a link between Voyager 2 and 3i slash ATLAS itself, the co-opted transmitter. By September 24th, 2025, NASA's signal processing lab in Maryland made a startling discovery. Hidden inside Voyager 2's returning stream were sequences that mapped directly onto 3i slash ATLAS's orbital elements, inclination, perihelion distance, and velocity near 210,000 kilometers per hour. Yet Voyager had no instruments to observe any of that. The only logical conclusion? It wasn't transmitting its own data anymore. Analysts noticed that the modulation depth in Voyager's X band carrier 8.4 gigahertz rose and fell in sync with the comet's infrared brightness curve, detected by JWST earlier that month. Every pulse appeared to mirror emissions from the interstellar object itself, as if the probe had become a repeater. Some theorists proposed that 3i slash ATLAS was using Voyager as a communication bridge hijacking its aging systems to relay information back toward Earth. The concept was unthinkable, yet the mathematics fit perfectly. Voyager's signal delay, 18 hours, 34 minutes, one way, matched the timing of the four-hour pulse cycles precisely. Inside JPL, Mission Notes quietly adopted a new acronym, CEV, Co-opted Emissions Vector. In plain terms, the probe was speaking for something else. But the next packet from Voyager carried more than numbers. It carried an image hidden in the noise, the encoded image. 
On September 27, 2025, analysts at the Canberra Deep Space Complex decoded a compressed binary block buried inside Voyager's telemetry. When converted to grayscale pixels, the file revealed a faint triangular form surrounded by radiating arcs. Its geometry mirrored Webb's infrared silhouette of 3i slash ATLAS observed on August 6, 2025. Further Fourier transforms uncovered structural layers, three longitudinal ridges, a glowing nucleus, and symmetry far too exact for random data. The image measured 512 by 512 pixels, repeating every 240 minutes, aligning with the object's known thermal rhythm. Engineers overlaid Webb's spectral lines and found perfect correspondence between the ridges and radio emission spikes recorded at 4.26 micrometers and 4.8 micrometers. NASA's internal memo labeled it Schematic Artifact A-1. Was this the object showing us its structure or testing our curiosity? Outside the agency, leaks spread fast. Screenshots hit social media within six hours igniting debates about alien blueprints and encoded communication. Inside the control rooms, silence dominated. For many, the realization was heavier than proof. If the image was deliberate, then 3i-A-T-L-A-S not only intercepted Voyager, it had answered. Within days of that image surfacing, telescopes detected a physical change in the object itself, one that defied celestial mechanics. The Sudden Acceleration at 2.13 UTC on September 29, 2025, observatories in Chile, Japan, and Hawaii registered a velocity spike in 3E-ATLAS, an increase of nearly 12% over previous measurements. The acceleration vector pointed sunward, perfectly aligned with the orbital plane of Mars, 1.5 astronomical units. Natural jets can cause uneven pushes, but this change was clean, sustained, and impossibly precise. Telemetry from Gemini South showed the object's brightness intensifying by 0.4 magnitudes over two hours, consistent with a directed thrust rather than random venting. Within 48 hours, recalculated models predicted a new flyby path, its closest approach shrinking from 200 million kilometers to just 19 million kilometers from Earth. Inside NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, analysts watched simulation plots shift toward the ecliptic plane, the orbital highway of Earth, Mars, and Venus. Panic followed. Some believed Voyager's intercepted signal had triggered the maneuver. Others feared the object was intentionally steering to meet our spacecraft, or us. Publicly, NASA called it unexpected cometary outgassing. Privately, the term Propulsion Event 01 appeared in internal memos. The implication was unavoidable. 3i-ATLAS had engines, or intentions. And as the object moved closer, Voyager's transmissions reached their climax, before falling silent forever. Voyager's Final Act At 7.42 UTC on September 12, 2025, the Deep Space Network received one last coherent stream from Voyager 2. The transmission lasted 2 minutes 14 seconds, carrying routine telemetry. Then, abruptly, a denser block of code. Analysts began parsing it, but before completion, the carrier signal vanished. Voyager had gone dark. Immediate recovery attempts, re-uplinks at 8.4 GHz, redundancy pings on 2.3 GHz, all failed. Engineers tried five separate command sequences across 36 hours. Nothing returned. For the first time since 1977, humanity's oldest messenger was silent. The timing was chilling. Just as 3i-ATLAS entered its accelerated phase, the probe's signal ended mid-packet. The final bytes translated to structured binary triplets, forming repeating primes and a checksum that decoded to CEV-END-001. No human had programmed that. Public statements mourned the loss as power depletion. But internal reports noted rising electromagnetic noise near Voyager's coordinates, 12.4 billion miles, as if something had enveloped it. Was it destroyed, absorbed, or still transmitting beyond our reach? What followed wasn't grief alone. It was a reckoning with what humanity might have awakened by trying to make contact. 
the aftermath. By October 2025, the world was divided between disbelief and dread. NASA's official stance labeled all anomalies statistical errors. Yet independent radio observatories continued detecting low-level pulses at every 240 minutes, identical to the old Voyager cadence. Even in death, the probe's voice seemed to echo. Leaked internal logs confirmed that in the days after shutdown, 3I-ATLAS's course stabilized at 1.3 astronomical units just beyond Earth's orbit before veering outward. It had completed a loop, as if scanning the inner system. Then, like Voyager, it too dimmed, its signature fading below detection by October 28th. For researchers, the data was both terrifying and tantalizing. If 3I-ATLAS truly commandeered Voyager 2, it proved alien intelligence could read, rewrite, and utilize human technology across 12 billion miles. Others argued it was a mirror a reflection of our own transmissions bouncing back with patterns we didn't recognize. In the end, Voyager 2's golden record, launched to greet the stars, may have finally been heard. Whether the reply was a warning or an invitation, no one can say. The only certainty is that the silence which followed wasn't empty. It was listening. And somewhere, beyond the heliopause, between Voyager's last whisper and the drifting ember of 3I-ATLAS, the dialogue continues. Voyager 2 is now silent, and 3I-ATLAS has vanished into the dark. But something has changed. The probe's final signals, structured, deliberate, pulsed, weren't just technical artifacts. They were acts of communication, acts of intent. If this was our first true encounter, it wasn't peaceful, nor hostile. It was observational. We tried to intercept a mystery, but in doing so, it intercepted us. And now, somewhere out there, it's waiting for our next move.